Good morning, Kaufman's Day is Tuesday, September 20th. I'm Abby. And I'm John, and you're watching Kaufman Live. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Well, Kaufman, looks like I'm without a co-host. Oh my gosh, don't even, your head is floating. I know, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, floating. it's a camo shirt, so it's floating. that makes sense. Quiz team will meet Thursday from 2.50 to 3.30 p.m. in A225, Miss Morocco's room. Please bring your dues. The math team, Mu Alpha Theta, will hold a meeting today after school in room A130 for any student interested in preparing for the AMC National Math Test this winter. If you're interested but cannot attend, please see Mrs. Kowatch in A130 before or after school with your question. Muslim Student Association will meet in B263 Thursday after school. Anyone is welcome to attend. Members, please remember to bring items for the welcome packages. See Mrs. Damani for more information. Social Studies Club will meet Friday before school at 7.30 in Ms. Zimmerman's room. All are welcome. We'll be planning this year's events. Key Club will meet Thursday at 7.20 in the lecture hall. Please bring your dues and forms. Black Sisters United is having our first meeting of the year tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. in the guidance classroom. Continental breakfast will be available. If you're interested in medicine, healthcare, any science, or you don't know what you're interested in, come to Med Club today at 3 o'clock in room A216. There will be food. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. It does. And you know what else sounds like a lot of fun? 60 seconds around the world. Good morning, Kaufman. I'm Eric Cornwell, and this is 60 seconds around the world. An explosion happened in Chelsea, Manhattan on Saturday. An unexploded pressure cooker device was also found four blocks away and was being analyzed by the FBI. And earlier Saturday, a pipe bomb exploded in a trash can in Seaside Park, New Jersey. No one was injured in that blast. On Monday, a device found in a backpack near a train station in New Jersey exploded while a bomb squad robot was trying to disarm it, authorities said. Christian Bolwidge, the mayor of Elizabeth, said that two men found a bag containing five devices in a trash can at about 8.30 p.m. Sunday. The bag had wires and a pipe protruding from it. FX's The People versus O.J. Simpson, an American crime story, led the way at the Emmys with five wins. The noticeably smaller buzz accompanying the arrival of Apple's improved iPhone 7 was on display Thursday as those waiting in a modestly smaller line at the company's flagship store did more complaining than raving after Apple changed many popular features. Obama, in his final visit to the UN, said he wants to focus on refugees, saying with more than 65 million people displaced from their homes around the world, he hopes to secure agreements to pay for food, aid, and to double the number of refugees resettled in countries each year. And that was 60 seconds around the world. Attention seniors, homecoming is only three weeks away and it's time for you to nominate your homecoming court. Log on to DCHS vote to nominate five senior males and five senior females to your 2016 court. The voting window is open September 19th through the 22nd at midnight. Are you a senior interested in politics, policy, public service, and leadership? The John Glenn College of Public Affairs is a unique public service internship program that allows high school seniors to gain first-hand experience with organizations in the public service sector. The deadline to apply has been extended to October 15th. Visit the guidance office for more information. Sergeant Karsten from the United States Marine Corps will be at Dublin Coffin to discuss options for Marine ROTC in applying to the Naval Academy. All are welcome to come on September 26 at 10 o'clock in the guidance classroom. Sign up on Naviance or stop by the guidance office. Are you a senior with at least a 3.0 GPA that participates in one of the 43 sports recognized in the Summer and Winter Olympic Games? Are you a senior that gives 110% in the classroom, on the field, and in the community? Well, then you may be eligible to win school, state, and national awards through the Wendy's Heisman Scholarship Program. Prizes range from $1,000 to $10,000. Applying is easy at wendysheisman.com before 10 16 Modeled United Nations next meeting is on Thursday, the 22nd, in Mr. Body's room. B-155 from 245 to 340. We will be discussing how to sustain global urbanization and free food will be provided. All are welcome. Are you a girl who's interested in science, technology, engineering, and or math? and join the Dublin Kaufman STEM Sisters group for an informational meeting right after school this Thursday in Ms. Kowatch's room A130. Japanese Club will be tomorrow in room A104. There will be a dance party with snacks for everyone who attends. Be sure to bring money for pizza. We hope to see you there. Congratulations to the girls' tennis team on a big win yesterday over New Albany. Great job, girls, and go Rocks. 
Girls soccer takes on Westland tonight away at 7.15. Boys soccer is home at 7.15. Volleyball has a big game versus UA tonight at 7. All coughing crazy should wear their camo shirts and come to support. That's all for sports. Now back to the desk. Thanks for watching. Now enjoy a little segment with Patrick on the Verizon buildings. Dublin City Schools is a growing community exploring new options to accommodate its increasing population. One of these options is to acquire the Verizon building on Emerald Parkway, an investment Dr. Hoadley says will be the first step in focusing on expanding the already existing high schools. And so we're, we're looking at, rather than building a fourth high school, utilizing some of these non-traditional spaces and utilizing it for things like our current academies. You know, we have the Engineering Academy at Dublin Kaufman. We have the Biomed and the IT Academy over at Dublin Scioto. As all of our high schools grow, we're looking as a way to maybe consolidate our academies. That would be one thing that we would put in there. As of May 2016, despite the hurdles the district faces in acquiring the Verizon building, Dr. Hoadley remains hopeful in the opportunities for students. We could create new uh, programming to allow students additional choices attending Dublin City School. This has been Kaufman News, signing out.